Uh, hello all, uh, in this uh, tutorial I want to show you how to create an uh, animated uh, time scale effect or you may know it as a bullet time effect and uh, I will use very basic setup basically you can use any uh, animation you have I will create one right now and uh, also I will show you a few different ways to create this animation so all I have right now is this simple wall uh, it has about uh, 300 fragments and uh, they are clustered as you can see so all I did is just uh, fragmented uh, one simple box with 3000 fragments iteration with clusters on and uh, I, I used uh, 300 uh, amount of clusters property so uh, here's my bomb. I will explode this wall, and I will add this bomb in the simulation properties list here. Uh, it has some range, linear range. Okay. Uh, right now, all these fragments inside the impact loops, uh, and if I will explode it, start the simulation right now. This is what I will get. As you can see, wall start falling down, falling down, and only then explosion ex uh, explosion happens, and there everything is exploded. So this is not the result I want to have. Uh, the one way to get the result that I, which I want to get, uh, I, I just want to explode just a small portion of the floor, and to do so, I will hit here deactivate static dynamic object here, and I will use activate by force. So in this case, only uh, fragments which will which will be inside the range of this ex uh, this bomb will be exploded. So this is what I will get right now. As you can see, only small portion explode right now. Another way to do this is to use slipping. To use this object as slipping object, I'll go to menu and send them to slipping list here. So uh, right now, if I will start simulation, I will again get whole wall exploded. And to prevent this, I can use dead object feature. I don't need this uh, deactivate static dynamic and this activate by force property on anymore since uh, our fragments are slipping right now so all I need right now is dead slipping on uh, I will use zero revive dead by velocity property for now so you will see the difference so this is what happens explosion happened but since our revive dead by velocity is zero no fragments was revived they just exploded in a moment and that that was all so to get some explosion I will increase it maybe to 250 and uh, I will preview Okay, that's better. S as you can see, I have I have some fragments exploded and some fragments uh, bended, and I get these cracks here. I can prevent uh, the cracks if I will say increase collision tolerance, maybe to two and five centimeters. So more fragments will be pushed inside each other. Mm, let's try again. Uh, this time I will bake simulation ok I think that's enough for simple animation setup which I will slow down right now ok I can stop it so uh, right now I don't need this refire floater anymore 
I can turn it off and uh, hide this bomb. Okay, uh, here is our animation. As I said, you can you can use any animation you have. Even maybe you uh, hand uh, hand animated any object it might be slowed down. So what I will use right now is uh, I'll go to Refire category and create a three fire cache helper. Uh, so uh, next step is to add all these fragments inside this record list. Uh, my fragment start explosion at frame 9, so I will set here 9. Maybe 100 frames. And uh, now I can record my animation. give it some time and looks like it's over so here is my uh, fragment and here's my uh, cache cached uh, animation so uh, I can incrementally save this uh, scene And I don't need these fragments anymore, I can delete them. Now I can work with this one geometry object which stores all these fragments and all the animation. So now let's try to slow everything down. And uh, to slow down animation, I will close all these rollouts. So all we need right now is this playback uh, rollout. And there's the speed property. The, the one way to slow down everything is to animate the speed property. Second way is this playback graph. I will start with the speed property. So right now speed is 1 and basically means that it simply plays the same what was recorded. So you can see it started at frame 10 and took about 30, 30 frames for explosion. So let me set here 0, 0.5. Now it will be slower two times. Can set it to 1. It will be very slow in this case. I will hide this ground object to prevent flickering. So, uh, as you can see, you already uh, slowed down your simulation. But what I want to create is I want to start it in uh, with real in real time, and then uh, after a few frames after explosion, start slowing it down, and then go back to real time. Uh, so uh, all you need to do is just hit this speed property, set to one, and say click here on show in track view so this is our playback speed and as you can see right now it's one and as you already <laughs> I think you already know what I want to do is I will create here insert keys and I will let's say here is explosion and I want to start slow down er everything from this moment I will insert one key here at, at uh, value 1 and then I will create another key here and I will set it to 0 0.05 uh, and then I want everything to very slow animate very slowly and then I will hit one key here and then another key I will set back to one 
So what I have right now is my simulation start with speed 1 then it took about uh, 5 frames to go to speed 0 0.05 and uh, all this time it simulates with this speed and then go back to while one so uh, since you have speed animated it's reasonable to decrease sample let's say to lowest one in this case you will get more accurate uh, playback so I can close this uh, track view editor right now and this is what I have right now in my viewport I can start playing it and as you can see I start explosion with regular speed very quickly and then it slows down and goes very slowly and in the same way you can uh, make it faster or slower and uh, adjust your animation playback in any way you want so right now I want to make this slow animation longer I will just drag this uh, to keys more and uh, And of course you can say copy shift I will I will select them hold shift key and copy them again here so right now I will have this slow explosion quick explosion then it will be slowed down then it will be back to real time again and then it will go slow again As you can see very quickly you can create any time scale result you want. Okay, I will uh, erase this animation for speed. And the second way to slow everything down is to use this playback graph. I will enable it. And right now as you can see there is no any animation displayed. It's because this time cache uh, object will use this frame value to show the frame the playback frame you want to get some result you have to start increase it so you can do this manually and you can see how it changed inside the viewport and as you, as you expect uh, to get animation viewport you have to animate this play uh, playback graph frame property so let's start with frame zero I will say set it to 100 and uh, set 100 here okay uh, so it started flame zero and at 100 frame it's uh, 100 and this is our real-time speed and in the same way you can slow it down or make it faster Let's make it linear. So right now it's r just regular speed. And if I want to, if you if you want to make it slower, again you need to start insert more keys. Like maybe where's my explosion here? So I will set one key here and another key I will set here. And to make ev ev everything slower, I need to keep this uh, value for long longer time. Maybe like this. So it won't just go from one point to, po to another point in a linear way, it will, uh, for some time it will stick to some lower values and, and this will give us some slow motion result. And again this is what we have in the viewport. And also uh, as you can see there is pretty much elements and fragments inside viewport.
so you can set here bounding box and get real-time preview as you can see it's very fast So I hope this tutorial will help you in your simulations and uh, just want to mention one more time uh, you can slow down any simulation you have even may, even if you just animated two boxes manually. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck.